The key to calming a crying baby is understanding what's promoting those tears in the first place. With the help of experts, we break down the common culprits. It could be anything ranging from hunger, diaper rash, tiredness, sleepiness, some tummy troubles, etc. Watch this video till the end to find out these top 10 reasons that make your baby cry and also their possible solutions. The topmost reason for a baby to cry is hunger. Hunger is the most common reason why your newborn will cry. Babies have a tiny stomach that cannot hold much food. So, if your baby is crying, the first thing you can do is try giving him some milk. Sometimes, babies get hungry very soon after their last meal. Moving on, dirty diaper. Some babies can sit in a wet or dirty diaper for hours without a care in the world. Others go nuts if they are uncomfortable for more than a second. Take a second to open up the diaper and do a quick check or perform a sniff test. You can also opt for a diaper brand that comes with a wetness indicator like Pampers Swaddlers which change color when the diaper is wet. That way you don't have to undress your child every time you need to investigate whether the baby is crying due to a diaper discomfort. Next on the list is the baby getting tired. Babies might get a hard time sleeping if they are overtired. The clue that your baby is tired is if he is whining and crying even at the slightest of things. Next could be tummy troubles. Is your crying baby also wriggling, arcing their back or pumping their legs? These are telltale signs of baby gas, says Preeti Parikh, an MD pediatrician at Pediatrics of the New York in New York City. The good news is that there's an easy way to help them pass it. Hold baby on the left side or on their stomach to help with the digestion. If the baby is gassy, bicycle their legs and push them up to the chest to help relieve gas. Next on our list is sleepiness. As an exhausted parent, you may be able to fall asleep the minute you hit the mattress. But the same isn't necessarily true for a baby. Sleep is a learned skill just like anything else. Newborns don't have an established circadian rhythm until around 4 months, says Kim West, LCSWC, a baby sleep consultant better known as the sleep lady. On top of that, a crying baby is largely incapable of self-soothing. So parents have to help baby establish these things. To help reduce baby crying at night and soothe them to sleep, a little trial and error is likely in order to see what calms your tired baby best. Swaddling for the starters may make your little one feel cozy and comfy. Some babies also respond well to the rocking motion, the sound of a lullaby or even a hum of the vacuum. If baby is crying at night and waking up frequently, it can be tempting to cut down on daytime sleep. Thinking fewer afternoon naps will help baby sleep better at night, but it won't. When baby is overtired, their body will produce hormones that give them a second wind, making it harder to fall and stay asleep. Even if it's not baby's usual nap time, if they seem tired, go ahead and put the baby to sleep. Sleepy babies should be allowed to sleep. Moving further, let's talk about the baby feeling too hot or too cold. There are possible chances that you might have underdressed or overdressed your baby as per the weather. Try removing some or adding layers as per the temperature to make your crying baby soothe down. Next is the need to burp. If you notice baby crying right after feeding, that's a classic sign they need to be burped. But there are other times a good burping may be in order. Everyone remembers to burp baby after a feeding. But many babies may need to be burped after sucking a pacifier having the hiccups or crying. All these activities can result in swallowing air. So when you have an inexplicably crying baby, it doesn't hurt to give them a pat on the back. There are several techniques for how to burp a baby out there. So find out one that works for you.
I usually hold my baby over my left shoulder, making sure his arm is hanging over my shoulder. Then I rub in circles on his left side and back, starting down by his hip and working up. Usually after two or three tries, we get a massive burp out of him. The next reason that could make your baby cry is overstimulation. We all get sensory overload now and again. For baby, it might be after getting passed around by aunts and uncles at the family party or trotted along to the grocery store. Remember, your little one is just still getting used to all the commotion so it might not take much to get them upset. It's a good idea to take a crying baby home and relax when they seem overstimulated. Going for a walk and getting some fresh air in a quiet, familiar setting can also do the same good. But don't go too crazy trying to keep baby away from sensory activities. Stimulation is a good thing. The best form of it for a baby is one-on-one -on -one stimulation with a loved one. Moving further, the need for attention. This can also make your baby cry. We all know babies don't exactly operate on the set it and forget it mentality. You can and should have baby spend some quiet alert time on a playmat or in a safe baby swing or bouncer. But your child will be happiest and most quiet when they are with you. Babies often cry out of loneliness because they are not being held or rocked constantly. They need these things as they go through this period of rapid development. Young babies should be attended to empathetically and quickly so their systems learn to be calm instead of agitated or aggravated. Last but certainly not the least on the list is colic. The piece the resistance of the baby crying. Colic is defined by the AAP as a condition where an otherwise healthy infant cries more than 3 hours a day, more than 3 days of the week more than three weeks in a row. Babies with colic cry excessively are more difficult to console and have disrupted sleep, leading to a whole set of stress for you and your partner. But it's important to remember that colic is usually pretty short-lived. Plus, colicky babies aren't necessarily uncomfortable or in pain. And it doesn't mean you are doing anything wrong. Often, it's just baby's way of dealing with life during those early months. So folks, I hope this video has helped you understand the topmost reasons why your babies could cry and give you a tough time. If so, follow these instructions and I hope this helps you and your baby too. If you have liked this video and the other videos on this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also click the notification bell icon. You can also follow me on other social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook and LinkedIn. In case of any doubt, query or inquiry, make sure you write to us on the email ID given in the description box. See you in the next video. Thank you so much.